What's up, everyone? This is Squigs. We are back with another episode of Squiggy 7 First Impressions. Let's set this guitar down. All right, looking good. And speed this puppy up. What do we got today? Boom! Supercars. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Hold on, my mic's a little bit fucked right now. Okay, that should be better. Um, I've never heard of supercars. Let's close her out here. God damn it, I really need to stop crashing that program. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong that is crashing that program instead of just letting me close it. Anyways, I have no one to blame but myself. Supercars. Um, what do we got here? Is there music? Am I missing the music? Oh, I can hear it a little bit. Oh, it's just simple. Alright. This is pretty groovy, actually. All right, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. So we get a racing game. This is one of the first racing games I think I played on Squiggy Seven so far. Ooh, nice effect there, buddy. I've heard that noise before. Who makes this game? Gremlin Graphics Limited. Maybe they just drew the game. Who knows? I'm digging this title screen song. I don't want to leave it. We'll we'll wait till see where it, where it goes right after this, and then we'll leave. It's cooler. So many supercars going by too. Like it's just a busy, busy highway for supercars. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh my god, what a tasty track. I love it. What the hell is this? Press start for a new game, enter color code for a higher class. Oh, let's see what we can do. Do our little Mega Man style color code. Probably did nothing. So uh, we'll try the first track, I suppose. This is awesome. Reminds me of, um, uh, well, it doesn't really remind me. It's something about the music more so than, than the actual gameplay that reminds me of RC Pro-Am. But it is kind of the same thing, except not an isometric style. So I wasn't expecting a top-down racer. I was expecting kind of like a crappy 3D style, like something like Rad Racer does. So, so far I've just been holding that. I'm assuming B is probably brake. I have gas, and BDO, and TR, and Eng. I'm fucking terrible at this. So, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of this so far, but um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, I guess. Like it feels like the driving, even though I'm not doing very well with it right now, it feels like it's really simplistic, and uh, like you can see every angle that you could possibly be at with a little practice, learning how to take these corners. I think you could get really good at it. This would be a cool one to see a speed run of, actually. Well, we gotta check out the uh, the later tracks, too. Hopefully I can pull ahead of the first place guy and actually win something. I'm in second right now. It's a four lap race. Well, at least the, uh, the tunes are groovy. That's confirmed. Like, no one can take that away from this game. This game has a sweet ass fucking soundtrack. I've only heard two songs and I'm sure the rest of them are just as good. Which is like, oh, it's becoming one of my favorite things about the NES day. Were you just waiting for me? How bad is your AI? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, their AI must have just been like, oh, he's too far ahead, just fucking stop. <laughs> oh, that's fair. God damn it, help me out, buddy. I'm faster than this guy, too, it looks like. Kind of by a lot, but I mean it's the first track. I don't know what difficulty it's on, but probably newbie. Does that mean I have two laps left? Meaning it was like five laps to begin with? Because that's pretty ridiculous. Oh my god, I could listen to the track to the track all day though. What happens if I run out of gas? It's not like I saw a fucking gas station. Did I miss that? 
There is little houses and shit on the side of the road. But if I have to stop for gas, I mean, that's actually kind of a cool mechanic. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's kind of strange at the same time. This part of the song is fucking sweet, too. I could just, I'm gonna have to, have to play through these levels at some point to at least see what they have to offer musically. I wonder if it'll be, it might be all the same racing song. Like, what is that? A cafe? Do I need to eat, too? Yeah, I think I have one lap left, but I'm in first! I mean, making these corners, it's, tr it's pretty tricky, to be honest, but I think, like, after playing this game for just, like, maybe a half hour, you'd be super good at it, probably. If I really concentrate on them, I can see where I'm supposed to hit, but, um, it's not, it's not as easy to do, I guess, without a little practice. Yeah, when they come up rapid fire like that, I panic and slam into walls. <laughs> But, yeah, these guys don't look like they're anywhere near me. As far as I can tell, B doesn't do anything. Congratulations on completing track number one. Results to follow. Fucking sweet. Look at us. We're number one. Position number one. Max speed 140. Average 39. A34. Best 37. A34. Whatever. Okay, so we can beat all these tracks. That's kind of cool. Let's go to the garage. Oh, now we're talking, dude. This game just fucking jazzed up. It just clicked. What do we got? A... Like, why is it? Why do I have four sets of numbers? Oh no, that's probably to increase. Fuck! I gotta refill my gas in between. Ooh, that makes me mad. Okay, what can we buy? Um, <laughs> rear missiles, obviously. Um. And front missiles. A turbocharger. Some anti-spin. The super retro. No, wait. We can get two this way. Power steering and a high speed kit. Now we're cooking with gas. Out of here. I mean, I don't want that one. I want the red one. The fog interceptor turbo. I wonder if these are real cars. Taraco Neo Rotor. I don't know anything about cars. Retro and Parsec Turbo. That <laughs> doesn't sound like a real car. So this is the one that I want. But um, I don't know if that's how I can choose it. I'm going to skip ahead to like track 7. See if we can find something exciting. Oh my god. This is going to be a disaster. Um. Oh. He is now missile. Out of my way, bitch. Bah! One missile? That's all I get? Oh, that's kind of disappointing, right? Dude, what kind of fucking map is this? Is it literally just like the maximum amount of roads you can put in one area? <laughs> kind of noobish. I don't know. We'll see if it picks up a little, but I'm not holding my fucking hopes up. Stupid oil slick. I saw it and I hit it anyways. Yeah, and then we go back over here to the start. I don't know, man. It's a little fucking lazy, if you ask me. But, uh, I mean, it's a simplistic engine. You got certain over-under is the only real mechanic it looks like you have in order to um, build maps with. Like, it would be hard to build a, a truly interesting map for this because it's just going to be a bunch of 90-degree turns. Kinda cool though. It's just, it's simple. It's just it's not it's not more than it is. Yeah, I think it would be pretty fun with multiple people. I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. It's probably not because you guys would have to be on the same screen all the time. I don't know how that would work. Um. So yeah, NES usually doesn't <laughs> have split screen games. So, I guess that's not what's uh, gonna happen. Does any of us have any split screen games? I can't think of one. I don't think. So. When did the split screens come out? There's gotta be at least a Super Nintendo game that has split screen. 
I'm actually really curious about that. Hopefully I don't forget about this as soon as I'm done recording this video and not look into it, because I would like to know more. God damn it, I tried to shoot him. I keep trying to shoot. Yep, so, I mean, it's got great sound. Average graphics, I mean, they're just, they do what they're doing. They don't look bad, though. I don't think they're bad, they're just, they're nothing special. They're clean, though, so I'll, I'll give them a slightly above average, like, for uh, NES. Because everything looks, like, really what it is. Look at that, that water over there is really nice. Sometimes the NES, the palettes and shit they use, you just, you don't even know what you're looking at half the time. If, like, the game makes the decision that their palette actually consists of, like, 12 shades of brown and a couple of purples and stuff. <laughs> that everything's just like a mishy mess. But, uh, I think this is the last lap and I'm in second. I don't know if I'm gonna catch up to that dude. I'm gonna go with probably not. But, um, I wonder if there's any turning tech I should know. Like, breaking around turns and shit. Doesn't seem like it helped. I don't even know if B is break still. Hit this fucking oil slick for the thousandth time. And there we go. We've lost. So, I guess, uh, we'll check out one more track. I think we'll check out, uh, the final one. That makes sense. Just go to the big, the big one. Come on. We're probably just gonna do a couple laps around it and wrap it up, though. Just get a, get a good feel for it. I mean, I would like this game a lot more if I could play it with my friends. I think that's my big complaint. You crashed once too often and your car exploded. Well. Okay. <laughs> this is what we look at now? Oh, there's a fucking wheel going by. That, that's pretty good. I like it. Let's see. Okay. Game over. We've lost. Okay. Back to the groovy music. Alright, so that's supercars. Let's see what it's worth online. Price, I'm sorry for the lag, it's Chrome. I think it's lagging anyways. Fucking Chrome, I need to find something else to do. So this game cost about 1850. Um, buy it now, ship it to your house as a base guide. It's pretty steep for what it is, but I mean, it's a nice game. It's not bad. You've got all these upgrades here. Which is kind of cool. Um, that also reminds me of RC Pro Am. You got three different cars to choose from. I don't know exactly what that does. Nine tracks, class one. Like, who even knows? There might be more than, maybe not more tracks, but I don't know why it says class one. There's probably more classes if they bother to mention it at all. So, like, the game looks like it's pretty comprehensive, fun. Uh, it controls nice, it's just a little simplistic. It's about 19 bucks, so that's not bad. I'm gonna give it a three. I'll give it a three. Because um, my rating system, 2.5, is perfectly average. It's just a little bit exciting for me. Like, I would want it just a, just a bit. Just a bit. Like, I wouldn't go seeking it out, probably. I would. You know what? I'm going to move that down to a 2.5. Because I think that's what it is. I'm kind of apathetic about it. I would like to play it. I'd like to own it. But I don't think I would go anywhere and just find it and start... um. And just buy it. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way. If I saw it in a bargain bin, I'd be playing it tonight. So I'll give it a nice round, 2.5. This is an, a different song, I think, right? Oh my god. The music fucking saves it. It really does. Not that it needs really saving, but the music improves it greatly. I'll, I'll change it to that. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed... Fucking sweet. Oh my god, I want that to be my outro every time. I end a video. <laughs> awesome. I love I love that effect. I don't know what it is. So yeah, the music's spot on. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squeeze 7 First Impressions. Um, hope you all have a fantastic afternoon wherever you are. A fantastic. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that word. And I'll catch you all next time. Take it easy, my friends. <laughs>